You know, it's it's like an accident. In uh, two seconds, uh, it's from everything is good, everything works well to uh, to a nightmare. I was like, in the middle of the night, I was just like, what is happening? Now, the boat couldn't kept on racing, so we decided to take them to Rio. The goal was to go uh, in Newport. It's like that life, huh? Hola, que tal? I've been talking with the design office of, uh, of our team and definitely the part that broke uh, had been uh, uh, checked uh, before during the stopover in Itajai, so definitely there is something else, but we'll, uh, we'll look at that a bit uh, later. Now we are focused on Lake 5 to be back in Newport and uh, looking, looking at the final result of the ocean rise. Um, we've got uh, uh, people that were still in Itajai from the team that uh, came uh, here. <laughs> it was crazy, like everybody was really enthusiastic about getting this boat fixed and they were going to race again. To be ready in Newport, there is plenty of things that uh, have to be repaired, definitely, but we broke the part the mechanical part, um, a swivel, so it allows to be able to furl the sail when you don't want to use this one, when you want to use a smaller one, a bigger one. This swivel um, broke, no link in between the mast and the stay anymore. And if you break one of these uh, cables, one of the uh, lashing of the loop uh, that is attaching the cable to the mast, the mast falls down. Yes, we've got some delamination on the roof because the mast fall on, uh, on the roof. In the meantime, you can see the deck uh, crushed here. We have a different noise and the core is crushed as well, so they will have to nice cut it, remove the Nomex, put some foam back and relaminate. Uh, we've lost uh, the, the main cell, so uh, the boom is damaged as well. Electronics, a lot of, a lot of rigging as well. We now have a plan. Uh, to be able to be in Newport at the start, the 21st. So over the last 72 hours, uh, we managed to find a charter vessel uh, from BBC that could be here in time and could reach Newport in time. Uh, transit time will be around 16 days. The leg from Newport to Aarhus starts on the 21st, giving only two days to the team to get all the boat ready for, for the start. It's crucial that the boom, the outriggers and the mast arrive before the boat because there's a lot that needs to be prepared on those parts to be able to be assembled on the boat. All this was only possible in three days because we had a team of around 10 people working 24 hours over 24 hours, really non-stop to make this happen. Everyone is taking on their jobs. I'm I'm cleaning all the uh, wedding gear, safety stuff, anything boats. The better we are organized now, 
the better it's gonna be when we arrive in uh, get all the stuff in Newport. So. the morning of the D-Day um, and today the boat will go on the cargo ship. Uh, it's also a new, a new thing, it's not, it's, not, uh, uh, it's not very often we, we love that kind, of, uh, that kind of boat on the cargo ship. Uh, and as you can see how much the boat is sticking out with the foils, we need some ribs to, um, to guide the boat. Yes, today the big day, big big day is very. It has to be very intense. It has like everything has to work. We will put the rib inside the container and prepare all the platform to be able to plug the cradle on the top, and after to load the boat on. We are pushing a lot in order to be able to do the leg, the leg five of the ocean rise. Yeah, it was a big day, a big day for all the team, uh, all team uh, PRB. It's a huge step. It's uh, one of the biggest ones, um, but it's not uh, finished. Definitely, the Lake Five could be the could be a huge turn in the Ocean Race 2023, one uh, way or the other. And then we want to be at the start. <laughs>